Hello lovely people, it's another edition of Colin Segment right here on Dipkaru TV. Today, we'll be bringing on board Apostle Rogers. This man is, you know, the fastest, one of the fastest rising gospel musicians here in Ghana. And we are going to talk about his collaboration with Nasi in bringing out a new song. And it's going to be a new hit gospel song, right? So I um, want to find out from him the inspiration behind him and Nasi coming out with that song and other things that relate with, you know, gospel music industry. Let's get on the line with Apostle Rogers. All right, so um, welcome to the Paro TV, and we are happy to have you on the line. Thank you, sir. All right, so congrats, um, congratulations on your new collaboration with Nasi. Thank you, sir. Um, all right, so um, Apostle, please kindly tell us, you know, what inspired you to work with Nasi in particular. My line, oh. Please come again. Um, please kindly tell us what inspired you to work with Nasi in particular. Oh, you know, what to talk about Nasi. Nasi is a legend. Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. So, so some time now, and I went back to the preaching aspect, and the time came back into music. I saw in mm -hmm. gospel Nasi was the right person how to work with so that I can get what I'm looking for, as long as the gospel music is concerned. Okay, okay. So what is it that you're looking for that you want to work with Nasi? What is it that you're looking for that you want to work with Nasi to get it? Like, like I said, Nasi, Nasi is a good musician. And when it comes mm -hmm. to programming and the style of music composition, you know, his songs are matured. Okay. So I saw that okay. I'm also in line with the same kind of style. Therefore, I must get in touch with him and work along with him. That's the reason why I, I connected myself to him. Okay. okay. So what is the title of this new song that you are releasing with? It's, it's called Megua, Megua and Kobia. Megua and Kobia. My Refuge, meaning My Refuge. Oh, okay. That is a nice translation. Okay, so um, how did you come up with this concept? Uh, in Megua and Kobia, Mm -hmm. It's a kind of prayer song, and I, I, I can say it was given to me by the Spirit of God. Okay. I, I, I was going through a lot, and sometimes to assess things that people do go through. So that makes me come up with this kind of music or any kind of music that I could have done right now. Oh, okay, nice. So the, the, the song actually is talking about things you are going through, so related to what others are also going through. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, so how did you and Nasi came together at all? How did you come together? How, how did I met Nasi? Yeah, how did you come together to, you know, to the essence of getting... You know, you know I, I, I'm an old guy when it comes to music. Mm. I, I'm a commercial guy. I started with Achiame, those kind of, days, those kind of Lord Kenya, Kunti, mm. you know, I was, I, I was, I was, I mean, in the same train of those guys, but Achiame were my friends. Okay. So I, I and I came back to the preaching. I stopped the music and came back to preaching. So God told me to also get back to music. So okay. one day I called a Shami Kofi and I asked him if he can connect me to Nasi. And he gave Nasi's number to me. Okay. So I called him and I explained to him that I'm Kofi's friend, therefore I want to work with him. And he starts to come to the studio. So when I went there, I sang by a song to say the song was good. So let's work out something. So that's how we all took it. Oh, okay, wow, that was actually a nice connection. All right, so um, looking at your song, what message do you hope the listeners will take from your song? Like, like what genre? Yeah, like what message is your song telling that people will pick from that song? My message? Yeah, the message in the song. What message are you giving out to the world through your song? Uh, I, I can't hear, but if I can, if I can, can I stop that? So you talk about the message of the song. Mm. Is it about the message of the song? Yeah, the message of the song. Yeah, you know, when I share my refuge, mm. I'm talking about God being our solid rock or God being the one that we can trust and rely on okay. in terms of difficulties, in terms of things that we do go through. Mm. There is only person that we can trust, that we can call upon and believe in him that is the one that can bring us to a place that we are expected to be or he can lead to us 
our prayers, our expectations. That is why I said my refuge, Miguan Kobia. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so how does your collaboration um, with Nasi reflect in the growth as an artist? You know how that works? How does your collaboration with Nasi reflect in your growth as an artist? Yeah, you know, it's just very important. You know, Nasi, how you can't talk about music without mentioning the name of Nasi. Mm. So if, if I lack it, you can get to Nasi. It means by the grace of God, you also go to a certain level when it comes to music. People got to know you in every aspect of music. Mm. When Nasi is part of your music, okay. I believe then you are, you, are, you are a lucky man or grace has located you. Okay. So I think it's good to be with Nasi or to, right. to be connected to Nasi. Okay. So your connection with Nasi has actually opened doors for you, right? You see my connection with Nasi has done what? It has opened doors for you. Is that what you're trying to mean? Oh, of course, of course, of course. You know, people, people do call me and say, Charlie, now you say, you say, oh, 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 you have Nasi. <laughs> and I believe that the song too is good. So all that we need is to promote the song. And with Nasi's image, I believe I'll go far. Oh, okay, all right. So how do you intend to promote this song? And we have started the promotion. Uh, like if you are the social media thing, radio is playing, social media is working out. Mm. We have to get to certain TV stations. You know, the number of promotion people do for their songs to be accepted or to get to the top. That's exactly what we are trying to do. Okay, all right, all right. All right, so what's the next for you after this release, after releasing this song and promoting it? What's next for you? And now we are in the journey of music. Mm. As long as this song will be accepted, we continue with what God has given us. Okay. And I'm also a pastor, a man of God, in a ministry to also separate people. So my journey is about doing ministry and singing to God through his messages. Okay, all right. So basically, your ministration is, you know, share the word of God, you know, distribute the message in the word of God through music. Yeah, music and preaching. Okay, music and preaching. Yeah. Okay, Apostle, um, thank you for your time. But there's this last question I want to throw on the board. That's what there's a platform. Yeah, I want to throw a question to you. That will be our last question for this show. Okay. All right. So, looking at um the gospel music entertainment or gospel music industry in Ghana, do you think there are some of the problems that gospel musicians face, or there are some challenges that gospel musicians you know face in this Ghana? Uh, the problems about gospel music now, you know, it's not about you. you know, it's a message you appeal to win souls. But mm. when you look at the financial aspect of the gospel artist, yeah. I would say it doesn't look well. But the reason is they also spend money on their promotion. Mm. But at some place when you go, since we are gospel artists, or I mean, singing gospel music, mm. people don't want to give support to you financially, or they'll not even give you anything at all. Mm. So I think the the gospel musicians also need support from everywhere they go. We must support them in, 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 in their music industry or their music calling. We have to support them in terms of programs, churches, wherever they are invited to go. I think they need support. So okay. if they can give the circle artists a big money to support their music career, you also need support from people financially. Okay, okay. So um, apart from people, you know, supporting and fans also supporting your music, do you also think that, you know, community, the community that we find ourselves in, do you also think that they can do something to promote in music uh, now promotion involves money i hope you, you understand me i understand yeah no, no, you, you can't do promotion without money mm. every aspect of promotion is money yeah and and i also like to talk to my my colleagues in the gospel industry okay that i think we must do good songs too okay. when you do a good song and it touches the heart of people they can also do support Okay. So our content of music is also very important. Okay. All right. So for basically for the community to support or for fans to support, it means the content of your music has to be very strong. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be strong. Okay. All right. So um, thank you so much, Apostle Rogers, for being on the line with us. And we've gotten the yep. message. 
Yeah. You are welcome, sir. Okay. All right. So we've gotten the message in your music, and we are happy to work with you, and we always promote your music. Thank you. I'm also looking at uh, the cardo. I know you two are ready for me, and I'll give you the support. God bless you for everything. Amen. And bless you too. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching this wonderful and educative show right here on Devkado TV. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave the page. Like and share our content. My name is Pedro Kingsley, aka MD King Pedro, as you all know. You can follow me on all social media handles at MD King Pedro and on TikTok at Official MD King Pedro. See you on the next edition of Calling Segments right here on Devkado TV. What up, my people? I go by the name T-Ram, right? aka the stylish rapper, aka Concho, aka Fire, aka what I say, BBB. You watching the Cardo TV? Keep it live. Don't go nowhere. Hey.